In this video, we're going to look at harder, changing the subject of the formula questions. So here I've got a question, make A the subject of the formula. That means get it in the form A equals. And we've got 5A equals AB plus 2. So I've got A's in two terms. So what I need to do, I need to get them on the same side as the first step. So if I take away AB from both sides, take away AB from both sides of the equation, that will give me 5A minus AB equals 2. So I've got the A's on the same side now, but how can I make it A equals? I don't want two A's, two terms of an A in, I just want one A term. So what I can do is I can factorise A out of my left side of my equation. So if I take A on the outside, A times 5 makes 5A, A times B makes AB. So I've got A on the outside, 5 minus B inside the brackets. So now that says A times 5 minus B. And to get rid of a times, we divide. So I divide both sides by 5 minus B. So A equals 2 over 5 minus B. And A is the subject of the formula. Okay, another one, make A the subject of the formula. Again, I've got A in two different terms. So I need to get them on the same side, get everything else to the other side as my first step. So if I plus 2B to both sides, I get 4A equals AC plus 6 plus 2B. I then take away AC from both sides. 4A minus AC equals 6 plus 2B. So I've got my A's on the same side. I'm going to factorise the A out now. So A outside the bracket. And 4, A times 4 is 4A. A times C is AC. So A outside the bracket, 4 minus C inside the bracket. And that's still equal to 6 plus 2B. And this means 4 times 4 minus C. And to get rid of a times, I'm going to divide. So I'm going to divide both sides by 4 minus C. So 6 plus 2B all over 4 minus C is equal to A. And another question, this time make B the subject of the formula. So... I've got a fraction here. I'm going to get rid of the fraction first. So 3b plus 1 all over b minus 2. To get rid of a divide by b minus 2, I multiply both sides by b minus 2. So I'm going to have a times b minus 2. I'm going to write that as a bracket. Equals 3b plus 1. I'll expand the bracket first. So a times b is ab. A times negative 2 is negative 2A. And that's equal to 3B plus 1. I need to get my B terms on the same side. So if I plus 2A to both sides, AB equals 3B plus 1 plus 2A. I then take 3B away from both sides. So AB minus 3B equals 1 plus 2a. So my b's are on the same side, my b terms are on the same side, everything else is on the other side. I'm going to factorise out the b. So b outside the bracket, b times a is ab, b times negative 3 is negative 3b. And... I've got b times a minus 3 at the moment. To get rid of a times by a minus 3, divide both sides by a minus 3. And that makes b the subject of the formula.
one more question. So if you want to pause the video, give it a go, you can. Otherwise, just keep watching and I will go through the answer. So the first step, I'm going to get rid of the fraction. I don't like the fractions. So at the moment, I've got something over 2b minus 3c. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 2b minus 3c. So that's 2a times 2b minus 3c. So 2a bracket 2b minus 3c equals 3bc minus 5. I'm going to expand the bracket. 2a times 2b. 2 times 2 is 4. And a times b is just ab. Minus 2 times 3 is 6. a times c is ac. And that equals 3bc minus 5. I want to get b by itself. So I'm going to get the b terms on one side and everything else on the other side. So if I add 6ac to both sides, so 4ab equals 3bc minus 5 plus 6ac. And then take 3bc away from both sides. So 4ab minus 3bc equals, I could write minus 5 plus 6ac, I'm going to write it the other way around. I'm going to write 6ac minus 5. Just looks neater to not have the negative on the front. So I've got my b terms on the same side. So I can factorize out b. So b times 4a makes 4ab. And b times 3c makes 3bc. So I've got b times 4a minus 3c now. To get rid of a times, I divide. So I've got 6ac minus 5 all over 4a minus 3c. And there's the answer.